It's moving! Oh. Wait, wait, listen, listen! Nah, I'm tripping, bro. Dude, it's like not... What? I heard a girl's... Why is he getting on the Wait, wait, what's... Yo! So before we start, mm -hmm. I want to get your opinion on Drake's new album. Okay. What do you think? At first, I'm not gonna lie, it was trash. It's right? trash, fam. No, it's, it's okay. Look, 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 look. Okay, you can't. You but, can't. But I'm gonna say it's trash. But okay. But it redeemed itself I because think, of the theory I heard. No, I don't think you can call it trash. So like, just because something's like. No, 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 no. It's yeah. trash for Drake. It's not even trash for Drake though. Hold on, like I, I, I even, I even said it was trash at first, but then I really like. Okay, what is he trying to do here? And like, you can't, I can't get mad at him for trying something. That's like when ASAP dropped uh, testing. Yeah. Everyone, that fucking sucked, that fucking sucked, no, right? No, but no, at no. at the same time, you can't get mad. No, listen, listen. Yeah. D do, who, who do I say is the GOAT? Drake. Drake, I say Drake is the motherfucking GOAT. Yeah. Why? Because every single mm. album has multiple, multiple, multiple hits. Yeah, yeah. Hits on hits on hits, mm -hmm. right? Right away, you listen to the album, you hear, oh, okay, this one. This one's going to go crazy. Were you expecting a rap album, though? No, fam. Exactly. No, I, I was expecting, because I know how Drake albums go. Like, Scorpion, yeah. mm -hmm. you'll have a couple, like, sappy whatever. Yeah. And then you have a couple rap songs. That's mm -hmm. what I expect. Yeah. That's what I expected. I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie. But when I heard, like, the club, the house type of vibes, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, it was still a miss in my eyes because it wasn't a hit. Yeah. It wasn't, like, automatic hit. You know? Yeah, I mean, Jimmy Cooks was an automatic hit. Yeah, that's an automatic hit. That's yeah. an automatic hit. And you know why I think this is my theory that um he he actually I was I was telling him with my friend that it was the last song. That's a teaser for the next. For the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You. But you. at the same time, it's like the more I listened to it, and I was like, I can see how this would hit in other countries because yeah. I feel like in, in all the comments right now, all the all the teenage boys that only listen to rap, like I watched Aiden stream mm -hmm. and all everyone L L L right away. But I'm like, okay, it is an L, but it's not like a. It's not like a big L. It's like no, no. He tried listen, listen, L. listen. It, yeah, he did try. Yeah. and I don't knock on that. Yeah. but it's trash for Drake standards, yeah. in yeah. my opinion. Is it though? Because if, if we're we had... only like percent of the listeners. You get he. I think Yo, listen, listen. He he billboarded on one of the. I think his whole album billboarded, and he's uh, is about to go number one. No, but he billboards anyway, just because he's so popular, fam. But that doesn't matter. If you're saying it's it's trash, then he can. Re well, okay. If it was really really bad, no, no. Listen, he wouldn't <laughs> listen, fam. Listen, fam. Listen, okay, okay. Listen. listen. Okay. When the music video dropped, it was crazy, yeah. right? It was crazy. But even when Which I was music video, the the music video for what's that song? Sticky, sticky, yeah. I don't think it was sticky, but it was some. I know that the, the was, wedding it, one, the yeah, wedding the, one. the okay. wedding one, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So in my opinion, the music video was hard, but I was yeah. I was I was trying to enjoy it at the same time. Yeah. But like the the, the vibes didn't hit that well. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen. But but enough talking trash. I just okay. want to say this real quick. Sharon told me a theory All about right. Drake's album, All right. and this really like changed my whole perception on the album. Okay. So listen, because I said Drake is the goat. Yeah. Right. But this album felt like oh maybe that might be his one miss album, and maybe there's another goat that has yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. no misses. Mm -hmm. So my theory, yeah. I mean Sharon's theory, sorry, is that whole album. Mm -hmm. was dedicated to Virgil to Virgil no that's not a theory that's actually no, listen facts. listen listen okay the theory is yeah that he dedicated to Virgil right Virgil passed away yeah Virgil was a DJ and he loved playing those types of tracks yeah he loved playing that club and yeah. that house vibe right yeah yeah so the theory goes mm -hmm. that what if before Virgil passed Drake promised Virgil or Virgil was probably like yo Drake put out put out like a house type of vibe mm -hmm. so I can DJ I can mix it whatever yeah and he probably promised him that. Yeah. So when he passed away, that's why in the album, like mm -hmm. notes, it says dedicated to V. Yeah, no, legit. If you type in description, there's a whole paragraph. Yeah. Uh, talking about how Virgil had the club beats and stuff like that. But I, I was thinking that I, I don't know if Virgil produced any of those. Mm. But I was like, maybe uh, before Virgil died. Drake Drake had the Virgil beats, but never rapped over them. But now it's 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 weird why I don't why know. I don't think it's Virgil beats though. It's not Virgil. It's beats. not Virgil beats. I don't okay, think okay. so. At least okay, okay. Because that that was my theory. I was like, well, maybe he he just 
the 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 beat selection was kind of weird yeah. just because it was different because he wanted to do it for his brother. Yeah. So the fact the fact that it's dedicated to Virgil yeah. and it's not so much of like a, a cash grab and trying yeah, to yeah. take over a genre mm-hmm. that changes my whole perspective. For and sure. it's to me it's a W album now. Yeah. Because of that. Because of that. Yeah. The fact that it's it's a remembrance of Virgil mm-hmm. and dedicated to him. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, I'm not going to hate on that. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that's some real shit. For sure. Right? I, I want to see them play it at the next, um, if Vir- because they have still have Louis V collections coming out. Yeah. I want them to, while the, the models are going oh, on like the, the runway, runway, the runway. I hope they play like Sticky. And probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> Most likely. I can, I can see that. So, yeah. there's a second theory though. Right, what's the dark this one? Is, this is the spicy theory, okay, fam. Okay. This is the spicy theory about Drake's album. Okay. So, Jet told me this theory. Okay. And pretty much, you know Beyonce? She, she She's like, coming out with the album. Yeah, and she teased she teased the song. And what did it sound like? Oh. It sounded it sounded like that the, club. The club, club, club kind of like sound. So that Drake dance. released it. But no, no, exactly. Wait. It sounded like that dance genre. Feel me? No. Now check this out. Check this out. Yeah. So Drake and I believe Kanye, a few other artists, yeah. they're cre- they have the power to drop when in an hour or two notice, mm-hmm. like two hour notice, right? Yeah. They can just release music, boom, it's out. Yeah. So Jet told me this theory okay. that Drake found out Beyonce was gonna release her album and it was that whole vibe. And Drake wants to be the one that says, oh, I brought that sound Let first. Let me start it. Let me start the trend. Yeah. So the moment, the moment Beyonce yeah. leaked that song <laughs> is the moment Drake dropped the album, bro. <laughs> Moment Drake dropped the album. <laughs> this guy went into the studio. I was like, ah, let's do yeah, this. That's why. So, so maybe the reason we don't like it as much. This yeah. is just a theory. But maybe the reason we don't like it as much is maybe he didn't put that much. For all we know, yeah. this guy probably made that shit in a week. For all we know. For all we know. True. Drake could have made that shit in a week. We would never know. Wait, let me get this right. So Drake dropped CLB before Donda, right? Or was it the opposite? No, Donda dropped and then CLB. Okay. Okay. And then CLB. But that was, remember I told yeah. that theory how whoever drops after is yeah. going to be the bigger album. Yeah. And what happened? No, he's taking, he's very strategic. So now he pulled the opposite. Yeah. So now he's like, let me start this trend. Because Beyonce's, Beyonce's return is like, is goaded. Like, Yo, every, it's going to be crazy. Everyone's waiting for that. That's just going to be crazy. And and if it sounds exactly like Thing, everyone's going to be like, fuck, we already heard this. Yeah, nah, yeah, exactly. No, Drake ha- has to have some beef with Beyonce because that's fucked up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. But but listen, whenever whenever you're talking like goats of an industry, yeah. obviously it's not so much of like a beef, it's, but it yeah. is a rivalry. No yeah, matter yeah. what, it's a rivalry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just like, I don't know if you remember, Kanye, yeah. he had he had this beat. Remember the poopity scoop? Yeah, yeah. Scoopity with, whoop. Um, with a, uh, who was it? No, 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 no. It was him. He just dropped that. He no, just... but he did that for like all the old heads that were hating. No, that's not why. Oh, no, no. That's it was, not why. I think it was something. It was listen, something. listen. So he had this beat and that was the poopity scoop. Yeah. Poopity scoop, right? Whoopity whoop. Yeah, yeah whoopity whoop. So the only reason he he put that song out was because, you know how that two hour notice, remember I told you? Yeah, yeah. Kanye has that power too. Okay. He dropped it because he knew Drake was going to drop a song with the same beat. So he was going to have the 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 licensing yeah. and the rights to that beat when he drops it. Word. So, so this was when they were beefing at the time. Yeah. So Kanye had that beat. Drake wanted to use it. Kanye's like, I'm going to disrespect him. Poopy you oh. scoop. Whoopity whoop. Okay, yeah. No, Drake is super smart. Cause that's like that's like you telling me something. Yeah. Like you were teasing Ox Wars mm-hmm. and I come up with like like a mu- different game. Yeah. yeah like music games. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Like that would be a smart thing. That's move. like the same thing. Yeah. So now remember that theory I said about like the Michael Jackson stuff? Yeah. What about it? So Jet Jet came up and told me like, yo, there's one song. I like how you're putting out Jet now so you don't get fucking. <laughs> so it's OVO not a new fam. The OVO goons. Jet, Jet, wants, Jet wants no beef too. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Jet no, wants Jet no wants beef with the OVO the goons. <laughs> but I'm going to say this. Look, look. So Jet showed me this song. <clears throat> and remember my theory with Michael Jackson, how, yeah. oh, what if Drake has like unreleased Michael Jackson mm-hmm. and he's low-key dropping it, right? Yeah. Now, this one song on the new, this one song on the new album, yeah. it sounds exactly like michael jackson beatboxing huh listen 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 it's crazy so know. this is jet jet's video you just sent me okay yeah michael jackson beatboxing showing how he kind of makes a beat so michael jackson's beatboxing ready mm-hmm. I'll pause that rewind it half speed it let's guess it half speed it look that's crazy and then he goes and plays drake's song uh-huh. Really? 
It's hard like, to hear. It's wait. hard. To, it's hard to hear, fam. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Trust me, bro. That shit sounds exactly the same. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that, it's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to hear off this because it's yeah. like it sounds like fucking under. But I heard. I heard the. Yeah, it sounds exactly the same. Okay. But that oh fuck I don't want to no nah, that's that's kind of a stretch though because <laughs> this, this is what this is what Jet told me though because because you could take any video of any guy rap beatboxing and maybe just do like you, it's the same rhythm you feel no, me no 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 but it sounds a lot a lot nah all right, listen listen I could go like, y'all y'all hear for yourself y'all hear for yourself okay let me put a beat out and then if Drake uses the same beat that it's it's he watches us okay ready. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, boom. maybe, maybe, maybe. So if you hear that, okay, okay. This one's a little bit of reach, but I'm, I just wanted to add it in because yeah. th- this is Jet's thing, you okay, know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I got, I got to add it in, fam. Got to add it in. He's a target now. You yeah. know me? <laughs> no, no, no. So it's not all on me. It's not all yeah. on me. So, uh, so give it a rating out of ten. Give it a rating. Yeah, six, seven. It was his worst album for sure. Six probably. Because every every Drake album to me is a ten. Really, every Drake album. No, six is still pretty good. I would give it like a five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a, like a five. No, but no, it, 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 it's still enjoyable. It, it, it was it was worse. It was worse till I heard the I heard the the news, the news or like yeah. the the memorial For parts. Sure. You know, For sure, yeah. That changed everything. Yeah. Because you know me, I'm I'm like a director type. I'm a very yeah. like I want to get into the origin of things. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's why I do theories. That ass, yeah. But the, do you heard about uh, TJ too? Oh yeah, the, the he recent got, news. He got, yeah, yeah, he got, got shot. I think he's in the hospital right like now. Everyone, everyone. So hopefully he pulls through. Yeah, I know. Hopefully he pulls Especially through. Especially everyone in New York. Like I remember um when K Flock got uh, arrested, yeah. he was one of the biggest. But now he dropped the song Out of Jail with Fabio, mm. and that shit is going crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing's happened to Fabio though. That's good though. Like yeah, I know. You want no good. violence and yeah, I know. Thing, right. Yeah, that's true. That's the last thing you want. Mm-hmm. And it sucks that music is always attached to drama. To drama. Or yeah, do you think sure. every do you think every single industry has drama like that? Or do you think mm. music is especially? <laughs> I think I think it's just rap because we don't hear uh, Adele beefing with Ed Sheeran. That's fact. You know, that's fact. <laughs> they're all, they're all love each other. Like Taylor Swift would never go out their way unless Taylor Swift wouldn't have any beef mm. unless it's from a rap guy. Kanye, <laughs> yo, and Drake. Didn't Drake have beef with Taylor Swift? No, I think it's just Kanye. It's just Kanye, right? I think it's just Kanye. Exactly. It's unless the 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 rap guys come into the mix where now beef arises. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? I guess what Taylor Swift did write a lot of her songs about her exes, and it was kind of diss tracks. No, but it's like. It's like nah, it's like uh family channel diss tracks. Nah, some of them uh, I nah, don't know. Nah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like what Kanye said on Drink Champs. Yeah. When somebody disses you, most yeah. of the time, you're the only one that knows they dissed you. That knows? Cause it only relates to you. Yeah. No, nah, but you could say like cause Drake. Okay, we're going back to Drake. Yeah. Drake has a lot of lines that target the poor, because he's super rich. So he's yeah. allowed to talk his shit. So when you're listening and you're in your fucking Toyota Camry and you're like, like, damn, this hurts. <laughs> he's like, he said some line about, oh, your your bank, uh, like how much money you make affects how I I listen to you. Like, you, yeah, he, he's you're always lower to Drake, so he's not gonna let, ever listen to you. That's true. Like, that's tough. That's true. Like, that's tough. I guess so. Yeah, but we feed into it anyway. I think because we strive to be them, you know? We strive to be them. For sure. And they feed off that, bro. Mm-hmm. They feed off of that. Yeah. Do you think there's like a little power in that when when people under you feed into your power? Yes. You think that's a thing? So, so bro, there's this like spiritual theory. Okay. I, I don't believe in this. I don't yeah. believe in this. But this is like one of those like dark web, like okay. deep in the fucking, you know, the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. This I on love the, the dark web. This is on the bottom of the iceberg. Yeah, so. yeah. Pretty much what they say, there's a spiritual energy mm-hmm. when you look at somebody sexually. Low key, sexually. that might be true. Sexually. So sexually. Like, so you like give you- power to them when you look at somebody sexually. Mm. And there's a theory yeah. that one of the, the greatest or one of the biggest, um, I guess, situations of this yeah. is with porn stars. They steal your energy. Oh, that's a good one. No, because you can just simplify and say a girl at the club. Yeah, you can, once, you can say once, that once, too. Once you, once you look at her, she's like, oh, he likes me. Let me work my magic. Mm. Get a few free drinks off that shit. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, even even just like a very like um, uh, physical thing yeah. too. Just like, oh, he wants my attention. Mm. Now he's going to come to me to yeah. get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think there is, there low key is like a, because a lot of people don't believe in that, but maybe there is like a spiritual presence yeah, in, or- in that lust, in that attention, in that, I guess, um, that sexual desire, fam. Yeah, you can call it just pretty privilege then. Not even just that, bro. I'm, I'm talking about like on like fucking the scopes of we can't see, bro. Oh, shit. I'm talking on the scopes we can't see. Okay. What if all of these people, all of these models, mm-hmm. the Kardashians feed off of our, our lust on them? Mm, so they build an ego. Mm. And then they- we, And they get energy from it. 
Yeah. Because because remember what I I told you before we even started recording. Yeah. On uh, Newton's what it. Newton's law. third law is whatever force you put on, the output is the exact same amount of force. Yeah. So where does that energy go? To them. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. No, I think it's just an ego boost because I think natural in a, naturally in our bodies, mm. we want to put people on pedestals. We need to look up to someone. There's only a few people that can be like, oh no, I'm I'm the best with yeah. with no with no um supporters behind them. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That because you you you're deemed as insane if you you're like that. If you if you think you're the best, if you think with, with no supporter already, like you 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 have five views on YouTube, but you're still the best. You think you're still the best? That's mm. rare. That's really rare. You know what's really kind of fucked, and what? I never really took it in. Yeah. You know how we call people goat. Because greatest of all time, Yo, right? Yo, goat is very, like, thrown around now. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You know who we call? We call people goat, but greatest of all time. Yeah, that's the original part. Uh -huh. But, like, yo, you know the devil is what? What animal? Oh, <laughs> yo, wait. You, that, you, like, you know the Baphomet? Yeah. It's what? A what? Uh, a head of a? With a goat. There you go. So would you, <laughs> would you want you know, to? You know Polo G's chain? Yeah, it's His a goat. goat chain? Yeah. What no, does okay. it look like? The devil the, head. Oh, shit. Nah, low you bet that? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. This Yo. Is Yo. And now it's like, who who are the main goats? Like the big celebrities. Mm. Who's the big celebrities in? You feel me? Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. If you deep it like yeah. that, because we throw around terms all the time, yeah. bro. We throw around terms all the time and yeah, we don't yeah. like... What's the what's the origin of of the word sandwich? Why is it called yeah. sand? You know what no. I mean? Like I mean stupid shit like that mm -hmm. too. Like sandwich. Like yeah. what's the origin of that word? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know I mean, no, and then crazy. go like yeah, we know the original greatest of all time, but like it's actually it's, a demon. it's weird. It's weird that it also attaches to yeah a demon. Mm -hmm. right. Not even a demon. Literally the devil. Yeah, the devil. Have you okay? I, I'm gonna switch it up real quick. Yeah. Okay. Because I have a story about the devil too. Have you ever heard of Castle Huska? Nah. Really? Nah. Okay, bless. Because you, you always know shit. <laughs> so, so this was allegedly built yeah. on the gate of hell. Oh, yeah. for real. So, so I think back in, I think 1800 AD. So yeah. this is way longer. This is AD. Where is this? Where is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where this is. Yeah. And they're saying that when it was built, a bunch of demons were released from oh, that shit. from that hole. Yeah, yeah. Right? And so when construction workers, when it was under construction, mm -hmm. they were saying to, to the prisoners in the village, mm -hmm. okay, for anyone who wants to go down and investigate the hole, yeah. we'll give them a pass. So I'll get out of jail free card. Oh, because right? they're too scared. Yeah. They're too scared to no check one, that shit out, bro. No <laughs> one wanted to go down yeah. except for one person. Mm -hmm. So when they put that person down in the hole, as soon as they, they lowered him, yeah. he screamed like crazy. Whoa. They pulled him out. He had gray hair what? right away. And when he pulled him out, he went insane. Like he couldn't speak English no more. Wait, wait, wait. he aged? Yeah, he aged. What the fuck? He had gray hair when they pulled him out. Yeah. And he couldn't, like he went mentally insane. He mm. couldn't speak English. Like everything was like crazy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the whole thing was like, after that, everyone fleed from that from that hole, mm -hmm. and the castle was built. But the castle was built with no windows because uh, it wasn't meant for somebody to live in. Oh, so it's like a fortress. It's like a fortress. So th that house is closing the gates of hell. Is, is what they're saying. Where is this place? I don't know. Oh, fuck. I don't want to. I'll search up later. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys can do the research for me. So, so pretty much, it's like that whole castle was built as like a, a stronghold to keep the de the devils in. That's some Minecraft shit, yeah, bro. I know. That's <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. That's literally some Minecraft shit. Yeah, yeah. like that's, a stronghold. That's true. That's true. Like a portal. Yeah, like a portal. Like yeah, a yeah. portal. Mm -hmm. So, do you think? Do you think hell is directly below us? Do you think we can act? You know, you know, in like Stranger Things. Yeah. Oh yes. Why is it everything below? Yeah. Why is it always below? Mm -hmm. Or is that is that um uh the world or like uh the higher ups trying to distract us from us right now because we think we're in hell we're in hell right now but they say oh there's something beneath it so you actually aren't so is that like mm. the is hell like the commercialized version? Of like so you below. think it's a distraction? I think because we're already in something. We're already in hell right now. I don't think so. Yeah, personally, I don't. No, but I, I already, I, I always say like we're in hell right now, and that's why we have to go up to heaven. I don't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe that, fam. Because mm -hmm. I, I believe, I believe there's a lot of good in the world if yeah. you look for the good. Yeah. And whatever you look in, let's say you're looking for evil, you're mm -hmm. gonna find evil. Yeah. If you look for good, you're gonna find good. If you look for paradise, you're yeah. gonna live in of paradise. Of course, of course. But what, what's that main cell saying? Hell on earth. 
Mm. We're on Earth. There's hell. You That's some me? sadistic ass man, bro. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Some sadistic ass old guy from like, we're living on hell on Earth. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? True. Like, that's, that's that's all the thing is. Mm-hmm. Yo, okay. There's this unsolved mystery I want to talk about. Okay, fam. okay. This is the craziest unsolved mystery I've heard to date. Really? Listen, listen. Okay. So, pretty much, it's called. You ever heard about the Jameson family mystery? No, I haven't. What is that? So. This Jameson family uh-huh. is a family that disappeared and they still don't know what happened to them. Okay. okay. So the story goes, a family of three, it's Bobby, yeah. Sherilyn, and Madison Jameson, right? Okay. So the Bobby mm-hmm. and, and Sherilyn and their younger daughter. Mm-hmm. So the story goes, the last witness to see them was this one guy mm-hmm. and they were in like the wilderness. They're literally in the wilderness of Oklahoma. Okay. So... They were, they gone there Mm -hmm. just so they can check out this plot of land because they wanted to buy like a, you know, you know, those um, big crate containers. Yeah. Yeah. Like cargo containers. Mm -hmm, Right. mm -hmm. They were planning to live on this piece of land in just like a cargo container. Okay. Already odd. Like a trailer life. Kind of. Yeah. Like, you know, those small tiny homes. Maybe, maybe that's what they're trying to do. True. But this guy said, when this witness said, when they were there, they were literally the only people in the area. Like, nobody really goes around there. For sure. So, it's already sketchy. It's already sketchy. It's yeah. already sketchy. So, a group of 300 volunteers went to go look for their bodies because they disappeared. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now, the only thing they could find was their truck. Now, in their truck, they found the family dog, yeah. a Sherilyn's purse, a GPS, and a bag full of 32 thousand dollars bro what thirty two thousand dollars right yeah yeah so why why would the family leave just the dog there and why would they leave all that money okay right? yeah so four years pass four years pass and two hunters they were just hunting in the forest and they came across skeletal remains of three bodies no way right so they found their bodies yo when they did the search yeah they did like a whole sweep of five kilometer radius yeah, right yeah for sure they <laughs> found the bodies literally not even that far i think just like two kilometers away from where they originally were and it and uh when they originally were looking for them they saw footprints leading into the in the wilderness couldn't find them that's fun. so a lot of people said Oh, maybe they could be hiding, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But anyways, fast forward four years, they find the skeletons. Yeah. Now, there's four theories. Four? Four theories okay. about what happened to them, fam. Well, okay, what was the first one? So the first theory yeah. is a very scientific one. It's like, oh, it was a it a was murderer? a thunderstorm. It was a thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah, right. They lost power in their car. Their power was still on, fam. Mm-hmm, yeah. But anyways, they they claim mm-hmm. they walked out of the vehicle found themselves lost in the wilderness, mm-hmm. and then they died of hypothermia. Yeah. First theory. Okay. How does it hold up? Not really well. Not really Feel well. me? This story gets crazy. Okay. The second theory is that Bob's father, right? Uh-huh. Bob, before they, they went missing and before they died, Bob, in the same week of going to that that plot of land yeah he filed a restraining order for his father because his father claimed that he wanted to kill them oh okay so so it's gonna be the father who murdered no but it really wasn't what it really wasn't what was it so check this out they found even crazier evidence too what what was it tell me bro listen listen (laughs) so the third theory (laughs) yeah yeah the third theory right was that they were killed by a cult. Oh, in the... F- oh, that listen, makes sense. Listen, listen, listen. That makes sense. Why a cult, right? Why a cult? Damn. So, Sherilyn mm-hmm. was reported to have a witchcraft book in her home. That's fucked. Right? Now, that was the first red flag. Mm-hmm. Second red flag was when they went missing. Mm-hmm. Sherilyn's best friend yeah. received a call, an anonymous call, and it was from a lady and this lady told her, yeah. hi, I'm I'm part of this. I'm part of this group. Apparently, it has to do with, like, the KKK, too. Like, a religious cult like that, right? Yeah. Hi, I'm part of this group. And I was Googling the names. I was Googling the names mm-hmm. of all of these people in this hit list. Yeah. This book that they have of hit, hit list people that mm-hmm. caused trouble for them, right? Yeah. And Sherilyn and Bobby were in that book. Oh, no. Yeah. A hit list. So, supposedly, this cult was after them, right? That's fucked. Now, that's a third theory. The thing is, though, there's no solid evidence that there was a cult in that area. There's no solid proof about it. Okay, yeah. But there's a lot of more evidence proving they were into some sketchy shit, bro. So, listen, listen. 
So they have surveillance camera footage of them in the in the driveway packing their things into the truck, right? Yeah. It almost seemed like they're ready to leave. To like go on vacation? No, because remember they're they're buying that plot of yeah, land yeah, okay. with a cargo container, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, in the video, you can see them. People that watch it uh-huh. say claim they were in a trance. Like they would walk up, yeah. put their stuff away, and just stand. Oh no. Nah, it's that's... like almost like they were in a trance and brainwashed, bro. Nah. So you can imagine putting their stuff away, walking, and just standing looking at nothing Mm -hmm. for like five minutes and then walking away, moving shit. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't even interact with each other. They were just moving like zombies. That's fucked. Now here comes the fourth theory. Okay, okay. So the fourth theory, Uh right, is that they were in a spiritual warfare against demons. What? Listen, 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 listen. So, so... The Jameson family yeah. claimed that their house was haunted by three ghosts. Okay. Listen, so he, uh, Bob, Bob Jameson went to the priest and the priest told the police that Jameson was asking if there's special spiritual bullets that could kill ghosts. Okay. Like, are there, is there something I can do to defend against ghosts, defend, right? Yeah. Why would you need fucking holy bullets to kill ghosts into some weird shit, right? Mm-hmm. Now, the priest also confessed that Bob told him he was reading that that witchcraft book yeah. and it turns out to be a satanic Bible. Oh, no. So it was a satanic Bible the whole time. Oh, so it wasn't like no no spiritual, like evil eye type. Yeah, thing. no, this is like some like real super... demonic shit, okay, right? Okay, yeah. Bro, now, uh, you remember the cargo container, right? Yeah, yeah, what was in it? Damn, this is what's fucked. The ghosts were trapped <laughs> in no, that cargo container? this is what's so fucked. Listen, listen. So on that cargo container, right? Yeah. There was graffiti on the outside of the cargo container Had saying three cats to date kill people in this area. Oh, sorry, sorry. Three cats killed to date by people in this area. Witches don't like their black cat killed. Okay. Read again. Listen. Let me see. Let me see. Three cats killed to date by people in this area. Witches don't like their cat their black cats killed yeah so what does that mean bro that means they were they were doing some witchcraft and they themselves yeah. are doing some demonic shit oh but they wanted to buy that land no fam. yeah they wanted to buy that land why they wanted to buy that fuck? land i guess it is away from everything else so they can do their little rituals yeah but- so a lot of the some theories were, oh, they wanted to just escape reality. Yeah, yeah, they exactly. just want to leave their old life, right? Exactly. Bro, $32,000. What do you think they're doing with $32,000? There's another theory. It's kind of lame, but like, oh, they were probably going to do a drug deal. But <laughs> even if they were doing a drug deal, why would they bring their kid? Yeah. That's the common ones. Like, why would they bring their kid? It doesn't make sense. $32,000. What do you think happens to them? $32,000. Wait, so they, they died, right? They died. They found their skeletal remains, bro. Okay. Or there's I, another theory. They just faked their death. No, I don't but more happened. times, I don't think they faked their death. I don't think that happened. Because they I'm, found their skeletons. It has to be from an outer source. It couldn't be them. So what I'm thinking is they dead ass did a ritual in that cargo container. Mm. And then... Yo, there's, there's, a, there's a theory too that um it might have been mm-hmm. a suicide. Like all three of them. Yeah, like a suicidal ritual yeah, with the uh, ghost. Exactly, that ghost. exactly. Okay, yeah. That's, like that's all of them I, together. That's why That's why when they're packing up their things and leaving their life. Yeah. And that's why they left their dog. Yeah. So wait, so the dog's like still living? Yeah, the dog was just in their car, bro. Oh, fuck that. Is that, yo, the dog's still running around? Fuck that shit. Yeah. Uh, I go, I kill that dog too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call pet on me, but that dog is definitely, that, that dog is definitely living for them right now. See, the problem with this, this whole murder is yeah. like, we want to, we want to, put a very simple explanation to what happened but you can't just because there's so much like Mm -hmm. random details Mm -hmm. that tie to weird ass fucking genres of murder feel me like because you have a spiritual murder you have a cult you have drugs like what is it no because i i believed in the cult murder because if you have your shit on a hit list you would want to move out to where Mm -hmm. where no one is around exactly exactly but then but then you mentioned the satanic bible then it changes the plot like yeah because now that's that's a movie that's what if they're into it right someone should make a movie about someone this. should make a yo to this day they still don't know like exactly what happened to them yeah so like it's still a mystery like unsolved yeah exactly so and uh, how do unsolved mu- mysteries usually end it's with a, a human killer 
unsolved mm. mysteries never end from an outer source like a spiritual source mm. so i right now i'm i'm leaning toward the spiritual shit to be honest who knows bro? to be honest who and knows, i don't know because the problem is there's literally no oh the <laughs> autopsy said okay. there's no evidence of like uh, blunt force trauma or any foul play on their bodies. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have that. Yeah, cause just because it was skeletons. Yeah, so, exactly. So it's also like um, it's a, a lack of information too. Yeah. But there's so, there's nothing they can prove. Like oh, this happened. This yeah. happened. There's nothing. Yeah. There, there's something like that in Canada too. I think um in none of it. Yeah. Have you had of, heard of the the headless valley? Nah. You what's haven't? that? What's that? So there's a valley where it's like a tunnel, like a big a uh, mountain, and there's like a little tunnel. Yeah. And in that tunnel, there's a lot of gold. Mm. Like if you if you want like to get rich quick, you go to none of it, and you go mm. to that tunnel, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think. Two people went in, and as soon as they they started crossing that river, mm -hmm. they they told people that they heard that people were watching them. What like, do you mean? Like, like they, they felt people watching on them. some like the hills have eyes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. and I don't know why, but everyone who's gone there trying to get rich quick mm. has died. And the crazy thing is, they've always been headless. Oh. So like, whenever the police has found their body. It's always no head, decapitated head, Deca decapitated head, and there people the. There's some theories saying yeah. that people, if you go there, you'll see people walking around with no head trying to kill you. What the fuck? None of it, fam. In Headless it? Valley. So it's like snowy there too, bro. <clears throat> I wouldn't say that. In the pictures, it kind of looked green. Oh, so it's like, but me, no, it gets snowy and none of it, it no? It snowy, none of it? I don't know. In the pictures I was looking at, it, it was a fucking like, it was like, um, you know how the center of earth looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that theory? What? It looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, right. None of it's green like yeah. that? No, and I, yo, I gotta show you something crazy too. Yeah, yeah. Because there was, uh, you know the Google cars? How yeah. they go around? Mm -hmm. So this was also in Canada. I think around some mountain mountainy area. Mm -hmm. But they saw a creature running after it, like a crazy looking creature. Oh, yeah. Running yeah. behind the Google car. So I'm gonna show you a picture. This is what see. it looks like. What the fuck? Yeah, and like there's actually pictures. This shit looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, bro. That, ass. <laughs> that ass. But it says like, look, uh, the mountain. They're calling it the mountain creature, and it's uh has th its legs are thick and it has short like T Rex fingers. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but imagine being in the Google car and you look behind, you look in the mirror and see like a little Pokemon running. Out so you. a Google car person like claim this shit is real. Fam, it's there's pictures of it. There's pictures of it. Yes, but that that's the artist's sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, is there actual like Google image I can yeah, look yeah. at? You can look at uh. So look at the um. What's this shit called? It's called search up the mountain creature. Yeah. Caught running behind Google car. That's it. Google car. So, oh, yeah, yo, there is pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? So, so it was it was in British Columbia, Canada. This shit looks like a salamander. This shit looks I like know. Charmander, bro. Yeah, it's dead <laughs> ass. Yo, it's dead as a uh, Charmander without the fire. Yo, what if this is just like a dinosaur? Oh, that's what I'm saying. What if this is just a dinosaur, bro? No, but it's fucked. That's fucked. Like, imagine seeing that. What the fuck? Yeah. It has no arms. It's like... It's, no, it's a T-Rex arm. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Yeah, it has to be a dinosaur. It, ha it looks like... Is, wasn't Charmander a dinosaur? Like Char Charmander's like a Salamander. But like Charmander's a, Salamander. a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon, so it's yeah. Pokemon. But yeah. But I think one person posted on Reddit and that's when the news spread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think... I think dinosaurs might still be alive fam because look look, okay. look. because you know how um the loch ness monster mm -hmm. and all of these claims of like huge sea creatures in the water mm -hmm. the kraken whatever right yep. fam, it's not too hard to believe mm -hmm. that in the depths of the ocean yeah. there could be these dinosaurs that survive long enough yep. but don't even live close to the surface they mm -hmm. just leave in the deepest depths of the ocean yeah I, I had also had a theory um well i had a drug theory with my friend yeah because you know how wormholes how mm. you can travel through wormholes what if what if dinosaurs there's like certain wor wormholes in the earth in the water or no it, no literally just in the earth in the water whatever in yeah. the forest where old reptiles that we think are inst are extinct mm -hmm. come out and that's why we we find them like maybe that guy running behind the the Google car yeah 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 came out of a wormhole by mistake mm. you feel me well you know Godzilla right yeah yeah Godzilla God Godzilla was like that shit it was yeah. like it was like from the from the the center of the earth mm, yeah. oh even um King Kong yeah why is it always uh so coming from like the earth from the bottom from yeah. the inner earth and so have you ever heard of the bat squatch bat squash like yeah. what what yeah, is so, this so there was um I, I forget the whole story but the main the main story goes yeah is there was a volcano somewhere mm -hmm. and it, it erupted 
right? Yeah, and yeah. Out of that uh, volcano eruption, somebody saw a bat. Like, so it would be like a Sasquatch guy, right? Yeah. And on its arms would be like wings of a bat. Oh you shit! Feel me? So it would look like a big Sasquatch with wings. What the fuck? And that's it what they're fly? That's what they're saying is the bat squatch. What the? F so it it's like a fucking yeah, like a <laughs> big, so imagine fucking uh, a big ass ape that can fly. What the fuck? Yeah. Yo yo, is there? Do you think there's mammals that is there mammals that can fly like that? Uh oh, bats, bats for sure. Yeah, but bats, but this one is like the enlarged version. Mm. And yeah, salamanders can do that too, right? Salamanders can fly? Salamanders, right? We can reptiles fly? <sighs> Wait, hold on. No, that's dinosaurs, no, that's bro. That's <laughs> dinosaurs. That has to be dinosaurs <laughs> still. Dinosaurs. This that has to be dinosaurs. Yeah. There's no way. I think that's all dinosaurs, to be honest. Chickens can fly. Penguins can not fly. fly. Penguins, Penguins can't, can't fly. Can't fly. So Yo, that shit kind of look like a penguin, fam. <gasps> what, what if? What if? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it's a big ass penguin. <laughs> now, what if? Because listen, 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 yeah. right? Penguins in Antarctica, they yeah. have what? What? Feathers, okay. right? Now, if they were in hotter climates, what, they were <laughs> would they have feathers still? No. And what does a penguin without feathers look like? Look, he looks <laughs> like that shit, bro. We look, he looks like that shit, just... fam. That shit's a penguin that migrated to yeah, Canada no. or originated there, and it's a whole different species <laughs> without fucking feathers, fam. And it's trying to run back to its home. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Don't kill me. Probably. No, that's funny. Because, because if, if you take that's why that's why you're not supposed to take like certain plants into mm. certain other areas of the world. Yeah, yeah. Like if you go to uh, the airport and mm -hmm. you tell them you have an orange with you, they'll fucking they'll, they'll kick you off the plane like <laughs> it's a bomb, bro. Yeah. Literally, because if you take that orange mm -hmm. and it has some like let's say plant disease, yeah. and you bring it over to a next country, mm -hmm. it could fuck up the whole environment of yeah. that area. True. Right. That is true. Did you see? I love watching the border patrol guys. Mm -hmm. And there was this there was this Indian guy who only like he came with three suitcases, right? Yeah. And he's like, Do you have any food on you? The guy was like, Do you have any food? And the guy's like, No, nah, no, nah, I don't have any food. <laughs> right. <laughs> so they, they went to the scanners and he's like, Yo, come here, fam. Yeah. Fam, you have three full packages of food. Like <laughs> straight food, like vegetables and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like you can buy that shit in Canada. You don't have to put a you don't have to cross the border with all this food. What if you smuggling? What if you smuggling drugs though? In food? Yeah, bro. Did you did you see that thing of um the potatoes? When they cut the potatoes, it was all cocaine. No, I haven't. They were trying to bring bags and bags of potatoes, fam. Yeah. And when they cut it open, it was just cocaine inside. Right. Yeah. Nah, you, ha you have to tell your story about the thrift store. What thrift store? <laughs> the one where you opened the book. Oh! <laughs> and you... Nah, because thrift stores... I, I, I'm going to tell, right, tell a story. I'm going to tell a story. You know what I've been getting into lately, bro? What? Very minimalist fashion. Mm. And the only way you can pull off that look... Mm -hmm is you have to have the best essential pieces in your wardrobe. For sure. Your and closet has to look the same. Exactly. <laughs> and what's my go-to? What is? You know what it is. Cuts? Cuts clothing. Mm, cuts clothing. Shout out to Cuts Clothing. They spent years perfecting the perfect t-shirt, taking look good, feel good to a new level. So Cuts founder searched everywhere for a presentable and stylish tee, but he couldn't find any that fits both the bills. So he decided to solve this problem himself by creating a premium t-shirt that can be worn anywhere. On or off the clock. These cuts clothing pieces are made to last. I promise y'all, these don't get ruined in the wash. Mm -hmm. They're the perfect piece so you can just ditch all that fast fashion clothing that you guys find at the mall. So they have tons of great colors and styles. T-shirts, Henleys, they got everything for everyone. Plus, Cuts is on fire right now. GQ even labeled them the only shirt worth wearing. And I promise you guys, the moment you try these shirts on, you'll get it. So see for yourself why Cuts is one of the fastest men's clothing brands in the world world with over a million shirts sold. So get 15% off your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash jumpers. That's J-U-M-P-E-R-S. That's cutsclothing, C-U-T-S clothing.com slash jumpers. Shout out our sponsor, Policy Genius. So why get life insurance? If someone relies on you financially, a child, parent, or even a business partner, life insurance gives you peace of mind that they have a financial cushion if something happens to you. So why get covered now? Typically, life Life insurance gets more expenses as you age, so it's smart to get a policy sooner rather than later. All right, let me break down how it works. Step one, Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find insurance you need at the right price. Step two, head to policygenius.com to get started. Step three, in minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from the top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% 
or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Step four, the licensed agents at Policy Genius are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. Step five, Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. So Poly Genius has thousands of five-star reviews across Google and Trustpilot and has options that offer coverage in as little as a week and it avoids any unnecessary medical exams. So head to polygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. So I go to the thrift store. Yeah. This is one of the Salvation Army thrift stores. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those like, they don't really clean or look yeah. at the products that much. It's literally, they, they donate it, Put that shit on the show. Exactly. The, the most shit version of a thrift store. Yeah. So I walk in and I find this book there. Yeah. Right. It's a Winnie. It, it's a Winnie the Pooh book. So it's a kid's book. It's a kid's book. Yeah. Right. I, I don't know what in my head like made me want to open it, mm -hmm. but I opened it. Yeah. And what I found was this big <laughs> plastic bag, yeah. Ziploc fam, of white powder. Big white plastic bag uh -huh. of white powder in this book yeah in this book bro why would there be white powder in a book mm -hmm. feel me yeah obviously i had my speculation i'm like this shit gotta be cocaine <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, this shit gotta be cocaine yep that's cool. <laughs> like, yep, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. but but i had my speculation right i didn't even want to sniff it i didn't yeah. want to open it i don't want to touch it because don't touch that because what if i took that bag or what if i messed with it <laughs> yeah and somebody that was gonna pick it up uh -huh. saw me. Oh, that's tough. Then I'd tough. be targeted, right? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, because I, I post my story, everyone in my DMs was like, yo, don't touch don't it, touch don't that. touch it, don't touch it. You're putting your fingerprints on yeah, it, blah, yeah. blah. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of like touching it. Yeah, blah. you were kind of touching it, I don't gonna lie. <laughs> so, turns out, mm -hmm. we figured out what it was, bro. What was it? Sugar? What it actually was, it wasn't sugar. Okay. When I say it was a powder, fam, yeah. this shit was actually like, it, it's like cocaine powder, mm -hmm. like dead ass. So, what it turns out it was what? was actually clay powder. Clay powder. It was actually clay powder, and the Winnie the Pooh book was yeah. actually one of those books where you can like put a hand oh, imprint. Oh, you can feel it. Like, no, you put like a hand imprint with clay. Oh, and then it's like a it's like a a clay imprint of a hand. Okay, that's what it was. That, that, that's okay. what it was. I thought that shit was cocaine. No, but you know what would be the craziest thing if you posted that and then there's like um there's like news about like a serial killer going around mm. and he sold drugs and he's putting it in different kids books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like oh, they have to, if you find it don't touch it because he'll he'll knock on your door the next day mm. you know me that would be crazy yeah, yeah 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 nah but i'm not trying to mess with yeah. that bro the moment you get involved that's like if you find money yeah if you find a big bag of money do you touch it do more touch times it? more times if you touch it you're gonna you're gonna be in a life of like fucking being hunted low key uh, low key more times i'm, I'm touching it like <laughs> you, you know you know the movie uh old country i mean sorry yeah Old country for old men, something like that. Old country for old men, no. Nah. So, oh, no country for old men. That's okay. what it's called. No country for old yeah. men. So, pretty much, this movie mm -hmm. is very similar to what I was talking about, yeah. where this guy mm -hmm. he comes across like all of these cars, yeah. right? All of these cars in the middle of a desert, mm -hmm. literally like nobody's around. Okay. And he walks up to. It, he's like, "What's going on?" Yeah. Walks up to it. What does he see? A shootout gone wrong. So he sees bodies, people bleeding out. There's this one guy still almost alive, mm -hmm. right? And he sees a big suitcase of money. Yeah. Like almost like $2 million in a suitcase. Okay, you don't touch that. You don't touch that. You don't sure. touch it. Just because the shootout. Yeah, literally there's bodies around it, yeah. weapons, guns, everything, yeah. fam. Mm -hmm. And he decides to take it. Oh, nah, the fuck. You're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. And he decides to finish off that guy, bro. Really? Yeah. Nah. And the rest of the movie <clears throat> was him running away yeah. from the people that actually the money belongs to. Because mm -hmm. $2 million, that's no joke. Holy shit. $2 million, people are going to look for yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Nah. You know who they should make a movie about? Who? I don't know if you heard about Johnny Kim. John oh, I think I heard about this. Okay, yo. This guy has probably the craziest resume mm -hmm. in the history of man. Mm -hmm. So he's like, what? Uh, he has a PhD. Yeah. He's an astronaut and he's part of the Navy SEAL. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, and and they were, I think he was on Joe Rogan or they were talking about it on Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. And I heard the story about what happened. He said, he said he switched careers so many times because he was just so fucked up that he needed to distract himself from something. You know why? Yeah. Fucking the Asian <laughs> overachiever, bro. That's why. Yeah. No, but no, but it, it went deeper yeah like, do you know his past story whoa, whoa, what like, is it so i think the last time he saw his dad mm. was when he committed suicide oh when his shit. dad committed suicide so 
he was in the living room mm-hmm. and his dad literally goes up to him and he says, son, I'm sorry. Why? That was his last words. And he pepper sprayed him. So he couldn't see anything, right? Oh, he what the goes, fuck? He goes into the, the, the kitchen. Yeah. And his mom's in the kitchen too. And Johnny, the kid, yeah. the mom's screaming, he has a gun, right? What the fuck? So Johnny is trying his best, even though he can't see, yeah. to fight him off. Like, And he's telling him like, dad, I love you. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His dad, all you hear, he shoots it up in the air. Mm. The next thing you know, the cops, the cops come and everything happens. He tells Johnny, the cops tell Johnny, your dad's dead. Damn. And he thought, he thought being a part of the Navy SEALs would, would get, get his mind off. Like, that he's would so be, traumatized. Exactly. But it didn't because he lost so many friends during the war too, that he became so fucked up. And that was his, that's what he says his biggest mistake was. Joining the Navy SEALs. To see more death. Damn. Yo, because if you think about it, yeah. this guy, he's skilled in so many... Th- he started as a doctor, you said? Yeah, like yeah, so he, he has a PhD, PhD. And he went to Navy... Yo, I don't know if you know, yeah. to join the Navy SEALs... You have to be crazy at Yo, everything. you have to be literally the top elite of the world, yeah. fam. Like, a, a complete, <laughs> insane human... Physically yep. and mentally. Because he wasn't just... Like, he had different roles. He was a parachutist. He was a, a lieutenant sniper. Like, yeah. he had many different roles. That so. shit's hard to do, bro. <laughs> Not many people can do yeah, that. Yeah. Not many people... And the fact that he was a Navy SEAL and then an astronaut... <laughs> and, then, oh, fuck. and then an astronaut... <laughs> and you have a PhD. <laughs> Yo! There's literally no excuses for any... After I heard that story, there's no excuses. See, see, the, the problem with that, fam, is like every other Asian mom... Yeah. ...is gonna hear that in the hairdresser. And, and be like... <laughs> Be like, look at look at look at her son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I heard I heard um there was one quote that I heard that comparison it takes away joy in life. Like comparison, yeah, comparison in general is mm. the biggest take. Like it'll take away joy in a person's life right away. That's the biggest one. Mm. Like you should never compare. Yeah, cause um literally if you compare something, yeah, you're not looking at what you're grateful for already. Mm. Yeah, for sure. But. I'm gonna play a devil's advocate. Okay. Because I think comparison is good. I in, can say in that a, too, but like, I think comparison is good as long as like you know yourself. You yeah. Because you can't compare something if you don't even know the the thing you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feel me? Because because listen, if if you're like uh, because I had this too. Mm-hmm. I was in grade eight. I mean, I was in like uh, I think grade six, grade seven. Yeah. And I was always being compared to the top person in class. Why? Right. I don't know why. Yeah. Because it's like you gotta you gotta shy for straight A's. That's the Asian. That's the Asian in us, right? Mm-hmm. But it made me feel dumb even though I knew I was smart. Mm. But that made me do worse because I would always look at the top and I was like, fuck, I'm not there. I think I'm dumb. Really? Yeah, exactly. But as soon as that shit stopped, I'm like, boom, nah, straight A's, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like, there's no... I'm only competing with myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fam, because look, if you always compare yourself mm-hmm. and you don't even know, like, what you're capable of already, yeah. what's the point? What's the point? In what's living life. Point? Like I'm saying, like, if... if if you want to compare an apple and orange, right? Yeah. Like, at least you know what an apple is and you know what an orange is. Yeah. And they're both very good on their yeah. own. Yeah. But the moment you, like, close your eyes mm-hmm. and then you try to compare something to something really good you see right here. Yeah. So, I close one eye. I don't even see the product in my left hand or I'm looking at the other one. Yeah. Damn, why are you comparing to something when you don't even look at what's here? Yeah. That is. That is. In this life, you're only competing with yourself. I had a... Some guy was trying to pick my brain on how I, I did the brand stuff. Yeah. And he's like, yo... Well, who did who did you compare yourself to or who did you compete with to get yourself motivation mm. i was like nah my motivation was myself mm. you, you look in the mirror and every day you're like nah i'm trying to be better than that guy today mm-hmm. you feel know I me mean? that's that's mostly it yeah facts facts you know I mean? facts yeah. you always look 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 if you don't if you don't compete with yourself fam yeah. at least compete with look okay i'm playing devil's advocate again. again yeah yeah i get it though but look look, look like i'm i'm a big i'm a i'm a big thing on fucking competition mm-hmm. like if there's no competition yeah feel me you're not gonna be the goat okay uh d- don't say goat anymore <laughs> after the demon story. <laughs> i don't want to be a goat no more no but like you can't be the greatest in something yeah if there's nothing to be great for great for so there has to be other people there has to be competition for you to be a great in something you can't be number one if there's no number two and number three. Mm-hmm. You get me? But you have to be okay with being number two and number three if that's your role in life. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. It is. It really depends on if you can handle it. Yeah. You have to be okay. You have to be okay with being taking on that number two role. No, I mean, like you have to be okay, but you still have to like. I'm when you say okay. Yeah. When you say okay, does that mean like to stop striving? Mm, I wouldn't say stop striving, but be the best at what you do. 
That's that's kind of what I. I am. disagree. Really? Yeah, I really disagree. No, I I feel that that's where you get it wrong because a, a well oiled machine yeah. isn't gonna work if everyone is if all the parts in it are trying to be like the engine. Nah, that's that's not. That's nah, not I disagree. Right. No, nope. I disagree. You know why? Why? Because the human mind is very versatile and okay. it can always learn. Okay. And you can try everything in the world. You can literally try anything you want and you can be great in anything you want. But yeah, some people can do it easier than others. Yeah. And that's why they're great for that thing. Mm. But the fact of, if you have in your mind, like I can do something amazingly crazy. Yeah. Like you wouldn't even, let's say I'm, I'm a master juggler fam. Okay, yeah. but you didn't even see me juggle before. Mm -hmm. If I actually trained and trained and trained and became a juggler and I surprised you, you'd be like, I would have never thought that, but it became, right? Yeah, but, okay, go ahead. So it's, it's literally the fact of, if you can believe it can happen, it can happen yeah. on circumstances that you're actually doing the work into it to become it mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't happen yeah but sometimes that doesn't happen yeah. but but the journey and the strive for it is real yeah and, and would you say the strive will get you closer than you ever were yes the, the strive will get you closer to your role that perfecting your role because like okay listen it's, it's very situational too yeah but what if everyone on the lakers tried to be like lebron that 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 role doesn't get filled they're they're no more working as a team that's why you have the role players the lebron the star the captain mm. and then you have the bench players why does it work why do they win the championship because everyone did their their played their part see i'm, I'm not a, I, I don't think like that still no. No, i don't that's i like, really don't think saying, like that like what if what if there was two there was like i said i keep saying what if there was two carloses it wouldn't work because that shit would be boring like you have to have a a person to counteract from what happens mm. you feel me no but then i then i play I, devil's advocate again and be like like there's other things you can do yeah no you know but, what i mean yeah no i get it but that's why I, i'm gonna play my role yeah and you gonna play your role and that's how it's been working so far right i disagree fam damn i disagree damn. no like this is not even just to like go against you like i actually yeah. don't see it like that really like I can see, I can see, I can fucking play every single piece in the puzzle if I really wanted to, if I actually tried to do it. But my heart tells me what I want to do. Exactly. No, but that's not you though, and it wouldn't work. You know why? Because you're not playing your role. That that's not you. You're trying to pretend no, like but, someone else. But look, you look, just look. said, you just said, if I, I could play every single role. No. If you tried to play my role, it wouldn't work. Why? No, listen, listen though, listen. Okay. Because your heart changes. No. Do your interests change? Yeah. Look, fucking. Uh, who was in the NFL and then switched to the NBA? Who was it? Uh. No, it was a fucking Michael Jordan was, played baseball and then he went into the NBA. Is that what you're oh, talking about? Michael Jordan too. No, yeah. there's a there's an NF play, NFL player that moved okay. from the NFL to NBA. Okay. And he and he played in MLB too. Like somebody did like three different major league sports. Oh shit. Right? And yeah. excelled in it, fam. Yeah. Excelled in it. I'm pretty sure they won a championship too. And one of them and the other. It's crazy. Okay, yeah, and one so, of them or the other. Yeah. So if you're saying your role is a fucking basketball player, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you can't be a football player tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm not if you switch, because look, if your heart's saying, I want to be a football player mm -hmm. and you actually go and do the steps necessary yeah. to try and be a football player and you really want to be, you will be. Yeah, I know. Okay. So that, that's it right there. I, I'm saying like, if you try to pretend to play another role, then it won't work out. That's what I'm saying. We can dead the combo right there. That, that's yeah, what but I'm you never pretend. Bro. I know. Yeah, I know. Would, I know. Who, would, who the fuck would I know, pretend? That's why. That's why. No. That's yeah. Why. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, I want to switch it up real quick. Why? Because I want to show you. Because I feel like this would blow your mind. Whoa! What is it? So what is it? Have you seen the a real portal caught on camera? Wait, I think. Have wait, you wait, seen wait, this? Wait, wait, wait. Is is this is this the one with the Olympics? No, it's not the Olympic oh, one. Oh shit! Okay, and I'm gonna show you a video after. Okay. So there was construction workers mm -hmm. working underground and they were working on a building mm. and so inside the tunnel yeah everything would be normal but i'm gonna show you a video yeah where it literally gets caught on camera like what is it is it like black is it like no, what it color it's literally a normal tunnel Look. okay you see the tunnel you see that it's a normal looking tunnel boom 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 what the fuck you see that boom Whoa. boom boom what the fuck you see the air going up and down? Wait, is the tunnel is the tunnel like in the bottom? Yeah, it's in the bottom and it's shit coming up. So so they 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 interviewed a bunch of people yeah, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, it's like clouds coming up and down." Yeah. And they were interviewing workers too and they were like, "Yo, it sounded like a lion. Like whenever like those clouds shot up, mm. it sounded like a lion trying to come out of somewhere." Oh. And and uh, what do you call this? And they're saying that 
oh, um, scientists could never figure it out. Yeah. Like they could, they didn't know what was going on. So everyone in the comments who think you have a solution, you don't, because scientists couldn't even figure it out. Right. But there was one theory yeah. that that could actually be a wormhole into another intergalactic galaxy. Like that, a wormhole to, to like, dimensions and yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what it would look like. That's what a scientist said. So wait, what is a wormhole actually? Uh, a wormhole is like... I don't know. It's like an opening in the earth that that you can travel to. I guess. So it's it's, it's literally like a like a passageway. It's like time travel. Word. Yeah, it's like time travel. Damn. Yeah. Cause look, look, look. Do you think you think our souls go into like a portal and we die, fam? <laughs> Like how do what happens to our souls? <laughs> listen, listen though, listen. Yeah. Because if you really take it in, because uh -huh. our souls have to go somewhere. Feel me? Yeah. Like does it dis dissipate? <laughs> dissipate. I think. You know what I mean? Fuck. That's really hard to say. Because that's that that asks what you believe in. Because the different religions. It really, yeah, it literally depends really on what, what you believe, believe in. in. Yeah. So what I think is just like the energy, like you, when you look at me, do you not feel an energy yeah, here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And when you look at dead body, if you've been to a funeral or whatever, like it feels like nobody's there. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like it definitely does stay, but I guess you can either roam around or like, oh, you can go up to earth if you want. Lord. I mean, go up, go up to heaven if you want. Mm. But it's really all up to you. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe it's on your belief set and maybe your own manifestation yeah. of what happens to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I really believe that fam. Cause I heard stories, right, yeah. of people on their deathbed and people that actually died for like a couple minutes oh, yeah. and brought back to life with the, what do you call that? What? The, the oh, the, the, um, the, is it resuscitation? Yeah, resuscitation. Yeah, with the resuscitation with the machine. Defibrillator or yeah, something? Yeah, defibrillator, that's yeah, yeah. the one. Zzz, zzz. Yeah. Yo, people died and they said they've seen things, fam. They've seen like what heaven is. They've seen what the afterlife is. And a lot of people say it's like this white place where they can see dead family members, whatever, right? Yeah. But it, it's crazy to to understand, like, how does that, how does your body know, like, when you die right away? Exactly. Boom, it shows you this. Mm -hmm. It's scary to think about still. Right? Yeah. There's been, so you know how, um, uh, what, what's that word? Reincarnated? Mm -hmm. There's been stories. There's There was a little girl who yeah. was born and... I think this was in Lebanon. Yeah, yeah. And her mother was asking her questions, and she says her name is something different. Mm. She was like, "No, my name is blank." Because she lived a past life. Exactly. Yeah. And and they were they were trying to find out, and the mother was like, "Oh, I actually know that person's name." Mm. And so she took her, them to the house yeah. where they used to live, and the little girl was like, "Oh yeah, I remember someone sitting on the, sitting at the, that that table right there." Yeah, yeah. And who used to sit at that table over there? The grandma that lived there. Mm. So it's so like it's her. So it's no, it's like she's literally seen that scene before. Oh wait, did this girl die? Like the mm. other girl died. The other, so she, so like the other girl died. Yeah, but this yeah, was yeah. a new girl, like a three year old girl who's like, no, my name is not what you're what you're telling me. It is my name is this. Oh yeah, and she's saying like, oh yeah, I know, I know her aunt. I know yeah, the yeah, name yeah. of her aunt. And right there in that corner, that's where the grandma used to always sit. Damn. And the mom was like, yo, this is not my kid. Like this yeah, is yeah, yeah. this is someone reincarnated in my kid. So wait, wait, did she not have her own life? And then one day she just woke up and then was like, "I'm this person." Or no, no, like she she's always had that in her. She just needed to because obviously when you're a kid you don't know that yet. Oh, she never explained exactly. it exactly. So oh. as soon as as soon as you start getting your memory, you're yeah, like, yeah, ah, yeah. this is not my name. Yo, okay, I have I have a deep question for you, okay. right? Yeah. And this deep question, it will determine something. Okay. You ready? Okay, let me hear it. All right. So let's say you find yourself in a complete white atmosphere. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, just complete whiteness. And you're walking around. Mm -hmm. Who is the first person you want to see? Oh, that's fucked. You had asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Who, uh, who would you want to see? Probably. It's got to be either. I have to pick only one. Yeah, only one. Just one. My grandma. Probably it, it was either it was either anyone in my family. Yeah. I don't care who it was, but since my my grandma's uh, passed away, yeah, I yeah. want to see her first. And I would be like, "Where? Uh, thank you." I would be like, "Thank you for guiding me." Mm -hmm. And now I'm finally here with you. Now you know what this question means. What it means the person you love the most at this very moment uh -huh. is that person. Really? Yeah. Really. At this very moment, the the person that you love the very most, yeah, is that person you want to see in that white abyss. Oh, true. Yeah. That's crazy. Nah, that's that's facts though. 
That was a perfect answer. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually said you. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I love the most. Okay, who? Oh, no, I can't say it to you because you know the joke. No, like the. Yeah. No, because you know my mom, my mom asked me it. Oh yeah, what'd you say? I, like, I didn't <laughs> say. Wrong I didn't, no, fam, I didn't say a person. I oh, didn't say a say? person. God. Yeah, I said God. Oh, that's a good answer too. Like I, I said, I said, I just want to see like a creator. Yeah. The creator? Yeah. Fuck, that is deep. <laughs> oh, yo, I'm gonna go around. And, and, and isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Like, because she said the person you love the most. Yeah. For sure. I could have said anyone, bro. You could have said anybody. Yeah. Damn. And you know what's crazy, too? Because I saw this TikTok. Uh huh. Damn, I saw this TikTok, bro. Uh-huh. And it's like, it's like, um, you know that person that left your life and you wish they were back into your life? Mm-hmm. You know who that person is? Who? Is the person you were thinking about when I was talking. <laughs> no way Fam, there was only- so, so whoever you're talking whoever you were thinking about yeah. when this tiktok was rolling or when i was talking it yeah that's who you miss fam so whether it be like a crush yeah. whether it be a person like you know personally it's that person that's crazy no because that was legit the only one that that came to my head it was either my family you know mm, me yeah that's fuck yeah and it's so it's so dope how like you can you can accidentally find things out about somebody, yeah right? no, it's, i did the i did the top yo i did it in front of everyone yeah so i was like no one knew where they wanted to eat mm-hmm. and i was like yo guys <laughs> oh so you, you, you pulled my my <laughs> yeah. life hack my yo, life hack th- this was for i think like 10 people yeah yeah so yeah I was like yo guys if you were to travel right now, where would you want to go? Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, yo, I'm trying to take a trip to Mexico. Everyone's like, hell yeah, let's go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yo, let's go. And then I'm like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, let's get tacos then. Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a genius, yo. That's the greatest life hack I ever came up with. If you guys are struggling on where you guys want to eat, yeah. literally just ask people, yo, where are you trying to travel? Yeah. Where no, are you trying but- to travel? And don't make it obvious that you're trying to pick a food spot. <laughs> no, but I did it. This is where I guess weird yeah i did it to one person too mm-hmm. and they said they said bali and i was like oh well, what do you eat in bali <laughs> <laughs> you gotta google that shit man you gotta google that i shit. was like let's go eat balinesian food <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, if you, you have no idea what type of cuisine they have, fam, you're in a bit of trouble yeah. still. Or if someone is like Cuba, yeah, fam, Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> Cuba's food is shit. Yo, what are you supposed to eat, bro? Yo, bro, I remember I was sick in Cuba. Yeah, I was sick in Cuba. From food, right? from food. No, no, like sick, just on like sickness. Like, I oh, that's a, sick. I, yeah. <laughs> no, but then like. When you're sick, you want food in you, right? Mm-hmm. You want good food. And I went into buffet. Fam, the food is so shit there. Yeah, that yeah. I, that it didn't help my case. Like, I literally ate my my weight in bread. Mm. Like, you know it, why it's like that? Why? It's it's because they can't they can't get a bunch of imports. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. That's why, because it's a communist country. That's true, yeah. yeah. But I remember, um, I think it was Juan. Because he's Mexican, right? Yeah, what Juan so, say? So he, he's like a... Uh, what do you call this? He's talking up their, their their language, and the guy comes out with a whole like five star meal for one. And Word. I'm like, and I'm like, fam, they're only giving me hot dogs, <laughs> and and you're you're over there getting a steak, Yo. you're getting ribeye. Like what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. is going that's on? That's sick. That's sick. And that's a G. That's a real G move. Real shit. No, because if you're in the Philippines, you and you speak Filipino, you get shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like language. That's similar to my uncle because when my uncle went, I think he went to the Bahamas okay. or or Mexico or something. Yeah. But anyways, he was talking to the the waiter. Mm-hmm. The waiter is black, right? Oh, okay. But my uncle is Filipino. Filipino, yeah. But he ended up making friends with the waiter, and pretty much the waiter told the kitchen, okay. "Oh, this this is this is my family." <laughs> oh. Oh my. And they took care of them. No, like they took care like of them, meals, bro. everything. Like the blessed food, the best food you can get in the spot. Super discounted prices. Holy, they sucks. took care of him. And the guys like so. So the the what do you call it? the supervisor yeah. came like family. <laughs> family. <laughs> bro, the waiter's black and he's he's, he's Filipino, bro. Nah, the connections is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you a deep question too. Yeah, would you rather? speak all the languages in the world or get to speak to animals i said this on ctm before oh, actually you did? yeah i said this on ctm oh, okay, yeah okay. yeah, yeah. I, I felt like that was one you know what i said what animals easily nah i would speak every language because you would be rich you'd be rich 
Imagine how much, how much people, how much people connections you can make in the world. You know what I could do if I could speak every language? I could do the podcast and then just record <laughs> and then the next <laughs> one in a different language and the next one in a different language. You can literally go viral any in Mexico. Yeah, that's you know true, I mean? Mr. Beast. But exactly. instead of like the subtitles and the and the dubs, Mr. Beast has dubs for all of these different channels. Yeah, I seen it, and he's so Crazy. smart for that. Yeah, but imagine you don't even have to dub it. You literally are the dub. But mm, <laughs> animals, bro. I rather yeah. be fucking like Aquaman and you yeah. know. So you can, I, I know you You want to like, uh, get I want like some a, powers, yeah, bro. I, I want some superpowers, man. I know you want a cult of animals and like whenever you, you have something, a problem, you would just like tell yeah, the birds. Like the birds, bro. Yeah. If I can have birds that like spy on shit or like get information from me, yeah. damn, do my laundry. And then you just see like an eagle like flapping <laughs> with my with my shirts and shit, you know? That would be fire too. That'd be crazy. <laughs> or it's like, no, I would be on a troll wave and just be like, yo, if I hate that person, Every day for the rest shit on those shit on for every day for the Yo, rest of their life. I shit get a bird to shit on. That's yes. crazy. Yes, this guy is fucking sadistic, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> Unless you have a poop kink, a bird poop kink, oh you're not God. gonna like it. You covered in white, bro. Exactly. You would have to walk around with even sunny days umbrella, fam. Okay, what what animal do you want to to work for you right away? Oh, just a bird, me. Loki. I think the coolest animal that you can have. What? Listen, I think it is a bird. No, listen. Okay, what? It's a rat. You you keep saying that that's it's so a rat. bullshit. It's a rat. Bullsh a, a rat dies of a mouse trap. You would really want that on your bro, team. Oh, listen, listen, fam. If if a rat is smart enough, like a super small one, bro, yeah. that that shit can move and you wouldn't even see it. Nah, bro, but you wouldn't even see it, bro. Remember Kim Possible? Yeah. Okay, we're not talking about Kim Possible because damn. Okay, what? Rufus and Kim Possible? Yeah, but he he can't go a lot. Like, okay, so when he wants to go distance to distance, he's gonna have to scurry. Like, you're gonna see that rat. That's <laughs> soft, bro. That's no, soft, bro. fam. No, bro. If, fam. If you saw a rat, you'd be scared of it. Yes or no? Uh, yeah. And is the <laughs> Rat, is a rat the most portable animal you can have? Loki is the most portable animal. Yeah, but so like, would you say I have the most dangerous thing to you? Very portable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a dangerous ass animal. Portable, fam. That shit can fit in my in, in my fucking cargo pocket. Nah, I would definitely say a bird, fam. Because a bird, like you can, you don't have to see the bird. Like it'll be above you. Okay, okay. If we're talking birds, yeah, hummingbird. Hummingbird. So that shit can like hover. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know if you've seen hummingbirds before. Yeah, that yeah, shit they, hovers, they bro. Hover. But but what could they, that do for you? Dog, it's the exact same thing as a bird, but like it's quiet and it's fucking, it just moves cool. It's like on a gyroscope, bro. Okay, okay. You know you know the dolly cameras? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a gyroscope shit? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. literally what it is. No, that's fucked. Like too. the head just moves like, uh huh. Like it's a break dancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fam. I did, or a, oh no, I was gonna say a bat, but that, that shit. Bat is shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah bat is gonna smell, fam. Bat is shit. You're gonna have some next to see. <laughs> you gonna start some next pandemic, man. Stop. Okay, we can end it here. I will end it here. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of the Jumpers Jump Podcast. Yes, sir. Um, we're, we're gonna extend on. this podcast on our fan fix. We're gonna play Ox Wars, so make sure to come watch that right now. Yeah, after we're gonna this. be playing this game right here. So tune in on the Jumpers Club link in the description. We're gonna be playing this live on there. Yep. Tune into that. Uh. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the links in our bio. Oxford is out for pre-order if you want. And yeah, follow us on Instagram. Jumpers jump out. Deuces.